Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by the illustrious Barbara <laughs> Catanese from the Heritage Library. It's always so good to spend some time with you. We're always thrilled to be here. We thank you so much for inviting us. So we have fantastic news. Costumed tours are back. They are back. And just in time for, for the new tour season, but tell us a little bit about, for anybody who's not familiar with the library, tell us a little bit about some of the services y'all offer. Tell us about the tours, what they are, what to expect. Sure, we are a history and ancestry research center. And one of the great things that we have is that we own two historic properties on Hilton Head, Zion Chapel of East Cemetery and Fort Mitchell. So one of the things that we get to do is offer living history costumed tours at those sites. So it's a fun way to learn about history, speak with characters from our local history, and it's just a, it, it's a great way to spend an hour and a half in the morning. I, I mean, you know, and folks, I think when, when they come to Hilton Head or when they think about Hilton Head, they think about it, you know, from the 80s on. You know, and it's really cool to dig in and to learn about how we got here and what's really at the roots of this area. Absolutely, from Native Americans through the colonial time, through the Civil War, Hilton Head was here and Hilton Head played a major role in some of our national history. And that's what we get to teach some folks. And it's just a, you know, it's fun for us, it's fun for the characters, our docents, and it's also fun for the folks who come out and participate. Yeah. And now, so this is one of those things you got to really plan ahead now because y'all are only taking eight people per tour right now? Right. What we're trying to do is be as responsible as we can right. considering, you know, everything that we've gone through with, with COVID-19. So we are trying to hold the number of participants to, you know, eight to ten at the absolute most. Um, so we are asking folks to make reservations online and all they have to do is log into our website. Easy to make a reservation. You can, uh, you know, you can, you can pay with a credit card, all that fun, you know, all that normal stuff. Um, and it's just like I said, it's a great way to spend an, to spend an hour and a half and learn something that's really interesting and really relevant. Yeah, absolutely. And is it once per day, or do you do them throughout the day? We do them on different days. You have to check the website. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'd love to do them every single day, but unfortunately we can't. Not um, yet anyway, but no. you know, there's a... There's but uh, today is the first one, 11 o'clock at Zion Cemetery, and then there's another tour on Thursday at Fort Mitchell. And then the other thing that we offer is a ghost stories. They're done in the evening on Wednesday evenings. And again, you can make your reservations online uh, really easy. It's a great way to spend a little bit of time and the ghost stories have a history thread through them. Mm. So, you know, you're talking about some of those ghosts that are right there in that cemetery That's where fabulous. you're sitting. It's fun. And, you know, folks, I think it, it's nice to know when, when folks come to visit to have something cool like that to do, mm -hmm. but also if people really like the immersive experience to know a little bit about their surroundings. Absolutely. The whole history, culture, tourism aspect is growing almost it is. every single year. It's yeah. a $200 billion industry. Mm. So to be able to offer some of that on Hilton Head, and we have some great places. It was you know. such substantive material. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's okay. fun. So one of the other things that y'all do is ancestry. So with this great pause that we've all experienced, Families have been able to spend some time together. And one of the things that I always love when I visit with my mom is we tell stories, or she tells mm -hmm. me stories ab about growing up and her family and the extended family. And it's, uh, I always learn a little bit more about my family. So tell us some of the services that y'all offer and, and uh, about the whole ancestry department. Sure, one of, the, one of the main things that we do is we focus in on ancestry research. So folks can come to the library, they can work with an experienced genealogist, trace their family roots, we can help them build family trees, but we can also show them how to document and preserve some of the history of everyone's family. And right now, this is an incredible time because you have, if you've been journaling or anything like that throughout this pandemic, how do you organize that? Mm. How do you document it? How do you preserve it? And also, let's take a look back because depending on when your family came, they may have experienced the last great pandemic in this country. So we can look back to find out where your family was at that time. And then you can do that comparative work wow. between where were they in 1918 yeah. and where are you right now? And what, you know, what's the difference in some of the, 
some of the experiences. Obviously, medicine, so much better than it was a hundred years ago. And so people are creating a primary source document right now. Absolutely. And there's a, pr a proper way to do that. Yes. How cool is and that? And we can help them do that. You know, we, we, you know, we talk frequently about, or, or people just sort of, not flippantly, but say, you know, the, the, the history is happening right now. We're in mm -hmm. history in the making. But there's just so much going on. To be able to document it properly, I think, is a, is a tremendous gift that you all offer. It is. And you know, it's, it's important to pass this information down. Like, like you said, you visit with your family. You hear these stories. They're great stories, and you want those stories to be able to continue so that right. folks know who you are, where you came from, and, and really wh why it helps tell that story and why you are where you are right now. Yeah. So it's a great experience. Now, do you all have some summer programs that are coming up to look forward to? We do. Um, and again, we offer the Ancestry Research Monday through Friday, so folks can just call, make an appointment. We can get an experienced genealogist to work with them throughout the summer anytime. We do the tours, but we're also going to start to do some online classes. Ooh, fun. Yes. Well, the age that we're in right now, everything is going online. Yeah. So we don't, you know, but one of the nice things about online classes um, from our instructor perspective is they can offer the same class a number of times. So if it's not a convenient time for someone, yes. it's not a matter of missing the class. Okay, we can offer it again. We're not looking for classroom space. We can easily do this online, right. you know, using all the online resources that everyone that everyone that everyone's using. So we can offer classes um, at different times, different days, because we're not restricted by that classroom so space. So the best move is to check you all out online, online, see what's happening, to get yourself set up with, to schedule something. And it's always so good to spend some time with you, Miss Barbara. Well, I thank you, and we're having fun at the library, so come on out. Absolutely, make a stop. We will be right back with more Talk of the Town.